Hello viewers, welcome to Big Man Business YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be talking about cars top import and export countries. Before we proceed, let's highlight the key points in this video. Automobiles are a common and necessary good used by millions of people every day. Automobiles are the most efficient way for people to get from point A to point B for their everyday travels, such as running errands, commuting to and from work, and going to see friends. Some countries are known for engineering and manufacturing automobiles. Not all countries have the infrastructure to meet the demand for automobiles, so many countries often import automobiles. International Organization of Motor Vehicle Manufacturers The International Organization of Motor Vehicle Manufacturers was founded in Paris, France, in 1919. The organization's purpose is to defend the interests of vehicle manufacturers, assemblers, and importers. It does this by linking the National Automobile Associations of Member Nations studying issues of mutual interest related to the development and future of automobile manufacturing collecting and circulating useful information between members establishing policies of mutual interest from members representing the auto industry at the international level, in particular with intergovernmental and international bodies disseminate and promote industry policies and positions. The OICA consists of 37 members and four committees exhibitions, technical, statistics, and communications. The 37 OICA members are Argentina, Australia, Austria, Belgium, Brazil, Bulgaria, China, Croatia, European Union, Finland, France, Germany, VDA, India, Indonesia, Italy, Japan, Kazakhstan, Korea, Netherlands, Norway, Portugal, Romania, Russia, Serbia, South Africa, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, Thailand, Turkey, Ukraine, United Kingdom, United States. If you're new to the Big Man Business YouTube channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell to receive updates on new business expert videos. For more international business news and updates, please visit www.bigmanbusiness.com. Top Car Producers in the World According to the OICA, the following countries are the top automobile producers in the world based on 2020 statistics. Numbers include total vehicles produced, both cars and commercial vehicles. China with 25.72 million vehicles produces, the United States with 10.88 million vehicles produced, Japan with 9.68 million vehicles produced. Germany with 4.66 million vehicles produced, India with 4.51 million vehicles produced, Mexico with 3.99 million vehicles produced, South Korea with 3.95 million vehicles produced, Brazil with 2.94 million vehicles produced, Spain with 2.82 million vehicles produced and France with 2.20 million vehicles produced. China is the world's largest producer of vehicles, manufacturing over 21 million cars and 4.36 million commercial vehicles in 2019. The largest domestic car manufacturers in China, known as the traditional Big Four, are Saic Motor, Dongfeng, FAW, and Chang'an. The United States is the second largest car producer in the world, although it produces less than half of what China does, manufacturing over 2.5 million cars and 8.37 million commercial vehicles. The United States' largest car manufacturers, referred to as the Big Three, are General Motors, Ford Motor Company, and Fiat Chrysler. Car Imports by Country Total global purchases of imported cars cost a total of $643.5 billion in 2020. That dollar amount represents 3.7% of overall imports for all products purchased which stands at $17.536 trillion. The overall cost of cars imported by all importing countries decreased by an average of minus 9.1% since 2016 when cars purchased on international markets were valued at $708.1 billion. Year over year, the total dollar value for globally imported cars fell by minus 17.7% from 2019 to 2020. From a continental perspective, Europe bought the highest dollar worth of imported cars during 2020 with purchases costing $304.1 billion or 47.3% of the global total. In second place were North American importers at 26.9% while 19.4% of cars imported worldwide were delivered to buyers in Asia. Smaller percentages went to importers in Oceanian countries which is 2.4% led by Australia and New Zealand, 
Africa with 2.2% and Latin America excluding Mexico plus the Caribbean with 1.8%. Cars Imports into China Here are the top 15 suppliers from which China imported the highest dollar value worth of cars during 2020. Within parenthesis is the percentage change in value for each supplying country from 2019 to 2020. Germany, valued at $13.5 billion which went down by minus 2.6% from 2019. Japan, with $10.1 billion which is down by minus 7.7%. United States, with $8.5 billion which is down with minus 3.1%. Slovakia, with $5.3 billion which went up by 10.1%. United Kingdom, with $3.6 billion which went down by minus 6.5%. Thailand, with $1.1 billion which is up by 58.2%. Sweden, with $872.5 million which is down by minus 12.2%. Austria, with $724.8 million which is down by minus 19.8%. Italy, with $446.9 million which is down by minus 34%. Hungary, with $239.6 million which is up by 209.7%. Netherlands, with $157.8 million which is up by 7.1%. Mexico, with $125.5 million which is down by 66.1%. Canada, with $93.6 million which is down by minus 76.4%. Finland, with $41 million which is up by 830.6%. Belgium, with $11.4 million which is down by minus 94.3%. These listed 15 countries ship 99.9% .9 of cars imported by China in 2020. Among the above countries, the fastest growing suppliers of cars to China from 2019 to 2020 were, Finland which was up by 830.6%, Hungary up by 209.7%, Thailand up by 58.2%, and Slovakia up by 10.1%. Countries that experienced declines in the value of their cars supplied to Chinese importers were led by, Belgium which was down by 94.3%, Canada which was down by minus 76.4%, Mexico down by minus 66.1%, and Italy down by minus 34%. Overall, the value of China's cars imports retreated by an average of minus 4.5% from all supplying countries since 2019 when cars purchased from international markets were valued at $47.1 billion. Car exports by country Worldwide car exports by country totaled $633.6 .6 billion in 2020. Cars represent the world's number two exported product by value, trailing exports of electronic integrated circuits but ahead crude oil. The $633.6 .6 billion in total international car exports for 2020 reflects a minus 9.5% decrease since 2016 and a minus 17.2% decline compared to the $764.9 billion spent on globally exported cars sold in 2019. Among continents, European countries sold the highest dollar value worth of cars exported during 2020 with shipments totaling $351.2 billion or 55.4% of international car sales. In second place were suppliers in Asia at 24.3% followed by North American automobile exporters at 18.5%. Smaller percentages came from shippers in Africa with 1.2%, Latin America with 0.5% excluding Mexico but including the Caribbean, then Oceania with 0.03% led by Australia and New Zealand. Here are the 15 countries that exported the highest dollar value worth of cars in 2020. Germany, $122.3 billion accounting for 19.3% of total exported cars. Japan, with $80.9 billion accounting for 12.8%. United States, with $45.6 billion accounting for 7.2%. Mexico, with $39.5 billion accounting for 6.2%. South Korea, with $35.6 billion accounting for 5.6%. Belgium, $33.3 .3 billion accounting for 5.3%. Canada, with $32 billion accounting for 5.1%. Spain, with $31.5 billion accounting for 5%. United Kingdom, 
with $26.6 billion accounting for 4.2%. Slovakia, with $23.7 billion accounting for 3.7%. Czech Republic, with $20.8 billion accounting for 3.3%. France, with $18.5 billion accounting for 2.9%. Italy, with $14.6 billion accounting for 2.3%. Hungary, with $11.3 billion accounting for 1.8%. Sweden, with $11.1 billion accounting for 1.8%. The listed 15 countries shipped 86.4% of global cars exports in 2020 by value. Among the above top exporters, the sole gainer from 2019 to 2020 was Slovakia via a 2.5% increase. Leading the decliners in their exported car sales year over year were, the United Kingdom which was down by minus 31.1%, Mexico was down by minus 22%, France was down by minus 21.8%, Canada was down by minus 21.3%, and the United States was down by minus 18.7%. Cars came into global use during the 20th century, and developed economies depend on them. The year 1886 is regarded as the birth year of the car when German inventor Karl Benz patented his Benz patent motorwagen. Cars became widely available in the early 20th century. One of the first cars accessible to the masses was the 1908 Model T, an American car manufactured by the Ford Motor Company. Cars were rapidly adopted in the US, where they replaced animal-drawn carriages and carts. 6. In Europe and other parts of the world, Demand for automobiles did not increase until after World War II. Cars have controls for driving, parking, passenger comfort, and a variety of lights. Over the decades, additional features and controls have been added to vehicles, making them progressively more complex. These include rear-reversing cameras, air conditioning, navigation systems, and in-car entertainment. Most cars in use in the early 2020s are propelled by an internal combustion engine, fueled by the combustion of fossil fuels. Electric cars, which were invented early in the history of the car, became commercially available in the 2000s and are predicted to cost less to buy than gasoline cars before 2025. The transition from fossil fuels to electric cars features prominently in most climate change mitigation scenarios, such as Project Drawdown's 100 Actionable Solutions for Climate Change. There are costs and benefits to car use. The costs to the individual include acquiring the vehicle, interest payments, repairs and maintenance, fuel, depreciation, driving time, parking fees, taxes, and insurance. The costs to society include maintaining roads, land use, road congestion, air pollution, public health, health care, and disposing of the vehicle at the end of its life. Traffic collisions are the largest cause of injury-related deaths worldwide. Personal benefits include on-demand transportation, mobility, independence, and convenience. Societal benefits include economic benefits, such as job and wealth creation from the automotive industry, transportation provision, societal well-being from leisure and travel opportunities, and revenue generation from taxes. People's ability to move flexibly from place to place has far-reaching implications for the nature of societies. There are around 1 billion cars in use worldwide. Car usage is increasing rapidly, especially in China, India and other newly industrialized countries. Thanks for watching this video. We are open to suggestions. Kindly drop your comments in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe to the Big Man Business YouTube channel. See you in the next video.